former head of the International Monetary Fund, Dominic Strauss-Kahn, has faced court in New York and he's pleaded not guilty to sex assault charges. Strauss-Kahn was heckled by a group of hotel workers as he arrived at the court. They were chanting, shame on you. He says he's prepared for a long campaign to clear his name. Treasurer Wayne Swan will release new Treasury modelling today that shows a carbon tax would have a negligible impact on household wealth. According to the Treasury figures, real national income per person would be 16% or $8,000 higher by 2020. Federal Health Minister Nicola Roxon is meeting her state and territory counterparts in Melbourne today to try to get agreement on a key part of the government's $16 billion health deal. Victoria and Western Australia have been concerned about the proposed national body that will monitor hospital performance. Ms Roxon is threatening to withhold $4.5 billion from Victoria if the state doesn't sign up. In another blow to Labor in New South Wales, the party's upper house leader Tony Kelly has resigned suddenly from Parliament. The former planning minister is just two months into an eight-year term. He says he wants to spend more time with his family. Syrian state television is reporting at least 120 members of the security forces have died in clashes in the northwestern town of Jiz al shagur If confirmed, this would be the deadliest day for the security forces since anti-government protests began back in mid-March.